dear brothers and sisters in the risen lord ordinary time second week thursday the goodness of a great person is not sullied by the evil of bad men socrates is athens greatest philosopher he was unjustly condemned to death by the athenian judge and the people for allegedly misleading the youth when he was in the prison awaiting his death one of his disciples came to meet him he asked him to return a hen to his friend which socrates had borrowed even when he was unjustly condemned to death the inherent goodness in him had not vanished in today's gospel we find the goodness of jesus does not vanish when he encountered the hostility and the hatred of the pharisees who plotted to destroy him when the pharisees found that jesus was breaking the sabbath law they departed and conspired with the herodians and planned to kill him today let us contemplate on two virtues of jesus first lesson jesus was aggrieved at the hardness of the pharisees hearts when jesus healed the man with a withered hand on a sabbath the pharisees instead of commending him for the good he did began to plot along with the herodians to get rid of him he grieved at the hardness of their hearts which rejoiced at the people keeping a death law than at the alleviation of the misery of the people what a vicious generation was this when he did a good thing they plotted to do an evil to him jesus looked at the pharisees with the anger mark chapter 3 verse 5 because they had more room in their hearts for death loss than for human compassion they were insensible to the evidence of jesus miracle and adamant in their unbelief as god was grieved for 40 years at the hardness of the heart of the israelites so jesus was grieved at their hardness for he wished to redeem them and will that none should perish second lesson jesus nature was to do good always jesus is unaffected by the evil of his enemies their enemies was never a deterrent for his good works he lamented their evil nature but to carry down with his good works he not only healed the man with a withered hand but also healed many others who came flocking to him matthew chapter verse 10 in the performance of our duties we must not be hindered by the oppositions we may face we are called to serve the lord therefore let us unceasingly continue it even in the midst of accusation and oppositions to make things better for others said raiser theodor let us be quick about it i shall pass this way but once therefore any good that i can do or any kindness that i can show let me do it now let me not differ nor neglect it 
for i shall not pass this way again let us pray for this intention doing this eucharistic sacrifice may god bless you all amen